Just Dance is a fun party game, it's great exercise, and there's also Just Dance Law. Basically, I've been obsessed with this game for the last two years and it's become my own personal form of therapy. Yes, the game that a lot of people have happy nostalgia for and still releases every year, by the way. Honestly, the game looks a lot more fancy these days. There's all different dynamic camera angles and there's really hard K-pop choreos to learn. The last two years especially, they've really amped up the creativity and been really experimental. And I think it's really paying off because a lot of the new maps look really cool and they're absolutely outstanding. I mentioned this game has lore, which I've seen more more and more people picking up on recently. The most recent game, Just Dance 2023, has been really leaning into that with an actual villain and story in the new game. But if you look through older games, there's some subtle little storylines going on too, like the Rasputin coach meeting and getting married to the hot and cold coach. I personally love there being storylines and throwbacks to the older games. It feels really rewarding as a frequent player and it's just a little bonus fun. It just adds a whole new layer to everything. So it's true that exercise can be beneficial for some people's mental health. I have been exercising consistently for about a decade, lots of cycling, lots of running, just basically lots and lots and lots of cardio. But I find Just Dance helps me with one thing that these other forms of exercise don't, and that is the stiffness that my form of anxiety causes. My specific type of anxiety not only affects my ability to speak in certain situations, it also makes my muscles like really stiff. I'm like rigid a lot of the time in public. I'm essentially fighting against a freeze response that's stuck on a lot of the time. I'm super inhibited and there's something about dancing that makes you have to be the total opposite. You have to be totally uninhibited. You have to take up lots of space. You can't shrink unsure into yourself. You have to be really buckled and move fluidly. It's all very vulnerable, isn't it? Um, even when no one's watching, it's still a performance. I often have to fight against extreme subconscious anxiety when interacting with people in real life face to face. So this may sound bizarre, but playing Just Dance has been a safe way for me to fight this deep-seated inhibition in a safe, controlled way. Wow, just like making YouTube videos has been for me. Anyway, playing the game has forced me to do things like stretch out your arms all the way straight, take up lots and lots of space. Um, the instinct for me to hold my myself in tightly together is really strong so it's a constant battle against that but since playing obsessively since 2021 I've got a bit better at it and I think if it loosens some muscles up that are very tense all the time that can only be a good thing so it's helping me out that way. I also adore trying to take on the persona of the dance coach that you're watching on screen. It lets you pretend to be someone more confident for a while. And then your actual confidence gets boosted for real when you finally learn the choreo, put it all together, your scores improve. By the way, that's why I'm glad the newer games have more coaches with faces because they lip sync too. So it feels a lot more interactive with the coach. And I think that makes it more enjoyable. Obviously the game isn't supposed to be actual literal therapy but it's just a fun little supplement for me to loosen some tense muscles and that might not be for everybody. I want to say from an autistic and ADHD perspective too that dancing is a really good stim and it feels so satisfying to do the repetitiveness of the moves. This isn't a dance move. <laughs> The routines, the satisfaction of completing them, feels really good to do. I'll be standing around my apartment talking to my husband and I'll just be doing stimming little random dance moves. Makes sense for someone who used to watch Pokemon MMD videos obsessively for hours on end in 2017. Okay, confession, the whole reason I got so sucked into playing Just Dance this obsessively is because I found KDA's Drum Go Dumb on there and I had no idea what League of Legends was or KDA. I'd never heard of them before I saw them on Just Dance and something about the map really appealed to me and I thought it just looked so cool and I was like, who's that cat girl who I later found out is a fox, Ari. And I just went down the rabbit hole from there. Yeah, this game is responsible for introducing me to K-pop and I have absolutely no regrets. I actually love that the presence of more K-pop in the games has resulted in a wider variety of dances and just really difficult dances that are so satisfying to learn in the end. There is one problem with playing this game though. I'm infamous for hyper fixating on high scores and playing stuff for hours on end trying to beat them and this game enables that. I've ended up playing for three hours straight sometimes which isn't good considering I have previous 
running injuries. Parts of my legs and hips are notorious for nerfing me at any moment. I get forced to take an extended break from the game, which doesn't make me very happy. But that's why I'm glad there's more seated dances, so then I can still play when my old injuries flare up. To be brutally honest, I'm not sure I'll ever actually be good at dancing. I kind of have trouble coordinating myself and I'm a terrible, terrible multitasker and it's a lot for me not to zone out looking at the pictograms or the trying to learn the dance even when I'm trying my hardest not to. However, seeing the noticeable improvement and the fact that I can score a megastar and even have some 13k scores on songs with my little Switch Joy-Con is awesome. Now I just want to work on moving more smoothly. I tend to overcompensate for my stiffness sometimes by like jolting too hard. I want to overcome these issues so I've been looking up dance lessons tutorials on YouTube just to try and help me out a bit since I've never had like any dance lessons or anything in my entire life. But I also wanna say you don't have to be good at a hobby to enjoy it. Like I wasn't the best player for a long, long time and I'm still not great. <laughs> and it's just so much fun. You don't have to be perfect. Like improve if you want to improve, but yeah, just just have, make sure you're just having fun with it. Another thing I also love about this game is the online community. There's so many amazing Just Dance Twitch streamers and YouTubers out there and watching them has really, really helped me improve. They're also cool too. Like a lot of them do cosplay of the coaches or they do collaborations across the world with other Just Dancers. It's really inspiring. And there's even people who make tutorials for the extreme level dances and those have saved me so many times and I'm eternally grateful to anyone who's ever made a Just Dance extreme tutorial. My dream would be to one day upload a video of myself doing one of the dances, but I am way, way too terrified to do that right now. I feel like I'm literally the awkward coach in the last Friday night map being taught by the other Katy Perry coaches. Anyway, that's all I've got to say. That was my ramble about Just Dance and why I've been obsessed with it the last two years. I recommend the game if you're able to play it. It's very fun my most fun form of exercise I've done, I think. Love some gamified exercise. But yeah, it's just, it's a fun game. So yes, play it, play it. And thank you for watching. Bye.